All right, for a question like this on the GMAT or the GRE, what they're looking for is your understanding of the math um, idea called factorial, which is this exclamation mark looking thing. So I'm just going to spell that out. So that is factorial, factorial. Okay, and all a factorial pretty much means is, so for example, if I have five factorial, it just means five times four times three times two times one. A factorial simply means you multiply down to one. So if you take a look at this situation, you have to be able to think about what's happening with 11 factorial, 10 factorial, 9 factorial. Here, I want to be able to look at this question and do a few simplifications first. You kind of need to simplify this math question. In math, anytime you have a number at the bottom, just one number at the bottom, and there are multiple items at the top, you want to divide this 9 under each term. So I'm going to rewrite and simplify this as 11 factorial over 9 factorial. And then also for the 10, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to say 10 factorial also over 9 factorial. Now, this really makes it very easy to try to solve each one. So again, keep in mind, take this 9 factorial, bring it under the 11 and the 10. So now all we need to do is kind of really focus on what's happening with this separately and this separately. So if I think about this for, for a minute here, Keep in mind that 11 factorial pretty much means 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. Now, on the test like the GMAT and GRE, they don't expect you to actually really multiply 11 all the way down to 1. Um, that would just be too much. So a trick around that is to say, well, I am going to multiply um, this 11 down until I hit the highest term I find at my bottom, which here is 9. So just watch what I do here. I'm going to say 11 times 10 times when I hit 9, I put a factorial there because I already have a what? 9 factorial at the bottom, which we then both cancel. So that's the trick there. You just multiply this all the way down until you hit the highest term here, meaning if there were two things here, say there was a 2 factorial and 9 factorial, you would stop at the 9 factorial because that's the highest one at the bottom. So in this case, let's think about this 10. Well, this one is even is not that bad because you just have to go one step. So 10, fact, 10 times 9 and then factorial. So you only put the factorial at the point where you hit what you you hit the number that's the same as the one at the bottom, the highest one at the bottom. So that's 9 factorial there. So this will cross out as well. So really you're left with one um, 11 times 10 plus 10. And this is 110 obviously plus 10 and that gives you 120. And that's the answer to this question D. So the key here is understanding factorial, multiplying, understanding that you're just multiplying down. But the very big math idea here is you split this 9 factorial under, under the 11 factorial and the 10 factorial. And that just makes the math a little easy. Multiply down here until you hit the highest term that you find at the bottom. So you're going to say 11, 10, all the way to 9 because there's 9 here. If this was 7, we'll go all the way down to 7 factor and it will cancel. So go to the highest one you can find at the bottom, cross that out, and then you multiply the rest of them, which is just 11 times 10. This is 10. Add it up. You get 120. Thank you.